Welcome to Limit Break Fuvalu Fuvalu. And as you can see, I just reset until I got the whip. It's just needed. You need a very good we- Oh, what is this? What is this? Come on, let's just banish stuff. You need a very good weapon to kill the enemies, but welcome to the video where we break the weapons as intended in the game. Now this time- Ooh, which one? I'll go for the curse. Now this time I have something special for you. It was requested by you guys that I would show off the damage that all the other limit break videos did at the end of the run. So I will do that based on whatever total damage was reached. To be fair, it's a little bit unfair since not all of them were played super 100% serious, right? But I think it still gives the right picture or at least direction. But let's talk about this run for now since this will be something for the end of the run. What is special about Fuvalu Fuvalu? Well, it's a great weapon first of all. But what is special is that we have to union two weapons into one. Being the Bloody Tear, which is the evolution of the whip, and then together with the Ventus Sacro into Fuvalu Fuvalu. That means we don't have one weapon but we have two. So how do we combat that since the point here is to play with solo weapons? Quite simple, we'll pick LOL. LOL has no impact on the game, like we'll be more than strong enough to kill everything. So we don't need the uh, shield that we get out of it. However, it doesn't take a single limit break out of the pool, like there are just none, nothing happens. And that's perfect, that is exactly what we need. One thing that we don't want is leveling up a ton and all the level ups go into something like the whip or even bloody tear or ventus sacro. It would be lost, so I want to avoid that. And I would say early on we can probably just take over here the... Ooh, there was a little clover. Nice. Yeah, but early on we'll just take the ring and the arrow for additional curse. I'm not too sure if I maybe want to have the empty tome and the other ring first. To be fair, maybe I want to do that. Yeah, that could be better. Since I have to run around a lot, I don't want to just die once the enemies are a little bit stronger. I mean, right now they're not. <laughs> it's quite easy. But I do need to get some level ups into the whip. Uh, Ventus Sacro Spinach, that is the last one. That means now we have everything. I could have also went for Awake and stuff like this, but I actually want to go for Slash. And for the last one, we'll see what I go for. Slash will mostly just help to deal with the enemies that are tankier. And I want to get to ridiculous level numbers this time, I hope we can do it. The last time I played with this character was on Capella, and the result was poor. Okay, it was really bad, below level 200, and we definitely want to go beyond that, by far. Hopefully we reach 300, that would be a dream. Maybe even more. The character gains 0.5% area, might, duration and speed per level up. I'm actually not sure if duration affects it. I don't think it did, but all the other stats do affect it. And that's amazing. What I'm mostly curious about or excited about to see is the size that it will reach. If you remember, we already had that with Smith and it became ginormous only at level 200. Now Smith scaling is a little bit better. However, we had four different weapons that I used and the upgrades were all split up, right? So we didn't get a lot of area upgrades into the weapon. And the goal for today will be, eh, get as many as you can. Not, not just area, everything. Okay, I should really head over there. I want to get a curse as soon as possible for some bonus levels, that would be great. And we're already three and a half minutes in, that means we are not too too far away from minute 11. At 10 we will evolve to Bloody Tear, and at 11 we will just evolve to Fuvula Fuvalu. Crown, very nice. And there we have the Empty Tome, I'll pick up all of them. Don't really need it, but I have to walk over here either way. Do I want to trigger the Guardian or do I want to avoid it? Wait, is this a 4 Empty Tome? No, it's just 3. Eh, it's still good. Do I want to pick up the Arrow? I don't think I want to. The only scenario where it would be good in my case is if I get forced level ups on me and I would go into limit break, which disappears after you evolve your weapon. So it would have been good to have the bonus HP instead, but will it make a difference? I don't think so. So instead I'll just hope that I don't get the level ups and yeah, then I don't have guaranteed 8 level ups wasted. I gotta say, Ventus Sacro has become a decent weapon. Look at this, 40 damage. What was its damage in the past? Like 8 or so? It was ridiculous. Trigger the Guardian, there we go. He's really slow, so I can just steal the ring and walk away. The only thing I have to be very careful with is that I don't run right into him when I'm running away. My weapons are not really strong right now, so I can't actually deal with him. So yeah, just make sure that he doesn't outrun me the moment the curse takes over. Which is in a moment. It's really difficult to kill all the enemies, I gotta say. And Empty Tome level 4, very nice. 
Maybe get a rosary or something would be good. And a chest. This is for a weapon, so this should be Ventus. Oh. Oh. I thought it was maxed out. But there we go. Whip is level 8. So the moment we get a chest now, at minute 10, we will instantly evolve it. Duh. I mean, that, that's not very difficult to evolve a weapon at minute 10. <laughs> you know? Nowadays, where you already evolve one to two minutes in. But there we go, max cooldown. Do we deal some damage against him? Like, I would expect he would die not too, too fast. But also that it wouldn't take too, too long to attack him. I, I should stop messing around. I have to get over and get the other ones. The main use will be that I don't get limit break stats while also getting the curse items. So I don't want to get them once I already have Fuvula Fuvulu and wasted a ton of limit breaks into Bloody Tear and Vento. Ooh, fire? No, I will use this to get through the enemies, yeah. It's fine, we'll get another one in the future. Oh, there's Rosary. Thank you. Maybe I should actually kill him. Wow. Okay, there we go. Phew. The reason being, I constantly have to dodge him and this wastes a lot of time. Yeah, this is a lot better. Oh my god, look at Ventus Sacro. Going crazy. I wish the library would get a little update and just one item added, you know? It has the book, it has a stone mask. I think it would be great to just have one more. I don't even know what. Just something that is not on other stages. Or if there's nothing left, then just copy something that could be interesting. The main reason being, stone mask is entirely useless. The, okay, there are really rare uses where you would want it, but aside from that, it's more like, yeah, okay, 50% bonus gold, I'll take it, but not because I need it. And if this was something like spinach or so, I think that would be amazing. Like, add it on top, somewhere, to the side, or something like this. Oh my god, I thought my computer is burning for whatever reason, but no, it's just this hot right now. It's really unpleasant to play like this. Oh, there we go, more can Labrador will help to clear them. Yeah, but it's really unpleasant. I don't like the weather at all. I hope it gets colder soon. I can't wait for winter. Winter is always my favorite temperature. You don't have flies. You don't have mosquitoes. You just have cold temperature where you can relax. And if you need it warmer, you can just use the heater. Or even just do something as simple as wear more clothes. Like outside, right? Because outside you can't use an AC. But you can literally just wear more clothes. But if it's too hot to even walk around, then what do you do? We are at minute 8 right now. That means I kind of want to get the curse ASAP. But for this, the Toruna's box would actually be the best one, so I think I should just focus on getting the experience that is on the stage right now. Thank you for nothing, by the way. Since at minute 9, the spam waves will spawn, and for them I want to be as strong as possible curse-wise. Should I just spawn a guardian now? Ah, uh, probably. Yeah, otherwise if I do it with the amount of curse, it will be super difficult to deal with him. I will be regardless. There we go. Welcome to the team. Do I want to pick up the curse? Yeah, I'll do it. Each percent that I can get here will help me with a little bit more experience. Would have been great if I got a vacuum, but now it's too late. The wave is about to spawn. I will give them another 5% curse, but it's not a lot. And there we go. Thank you for being part of this. <laughs> it's like, oh, I love this wave. And there's the red gem. These are all the level ups that I was missing. Okay, there we have Toruna, Toruna, Toruna. To Runa. It said it doesn't help me if I get cursed now. It will just make my life hard, so I'll try to avoid it. Silver Ring. And Hollow Heart, sure. Hollow Heart for a little bit more HP. I could also banish Hollow Heart, but I think it's fine. Okay, I kind of quickly need the uh, evolution. The bloody tier. One death is fine. Two deaths is game over. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I don't really want that. Who would have thought? Ooh, careful there. Okay. I have to stay at the bottom here, but then I can't collect any of the experience, which is not great. Oh, I want you, but I can't take you. There's a chicken, and here's the ring. Uh, let me get that. Well, I can't. Let me go around. Uh, a little bit more curse, okay. After 10 minutes, I will get the curse. Then it will pop off at 11 minutes, and at that time, I think they are dead. Or maybe I should wait a little bit longer. Might also be smart to just do that. Okay, careful. There's minute 10. Somewhere's the boss. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Nice. This is bloody tier. That means now we heal a ton of hell. Oh my god. That is already very impressive. Yeah, now I can go for the curse. It will apply once we hit minute 11. And I just hope they are dead by then, because otherwise I might have a slight problem. Um. Um. Okay. <laughs> will I actually kill them? 
You know, I just as okay, 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 yeah. I will kill them easily. I know I said easily, but please, could you die? Please, very quickly. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Two seconds away. And there we go. There's a speed up for all of them. Where are the chests? There's Arcana. That is the slash that I want. Come on. Ah, where is it? There we go. Slashy, slashy. Come on. There we go. Nice. And there's the other evolution chest. That means now we can go crazy and go with the limit break. To be fair, so far I didn't even reach that point. So it doesn't really matter. But I'm just looking for Laurel and then I will banish it on level 1. That way I will not waste any level ups into it. And as I said, it's just there since the weapon has the least impact on the run. But I don't want it to be level 8. We don't need that. That is not the point. And Metallio right is maxed out. Gold ring level 4. Gold ring level 5. I'm so curious to see how big the weapon will be in the end. Gold ring level 6. There's not a lot left, so please lol, could you show up any moment now? Come on. Gold ring level 7. 8. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't want to waste all of my rerolls. Gold ring. Okay. I can't believe it. We actually got it on the last level up. Nice. And now for the final step, all I have to do is, come on, level up. Banish the Laurel. Goodbye. And as you can see, we have it. Area speed might, I'll obviously go for area and more area. I want to focus a little bit in the beginning on area just to make sure that we have a ginormous weapon that kills all the enemies. But after that, we'll switch over to automatic level ups as usual. More area. Every single level up so far was area. I'm really curious what is the best way to play this weapon to kill the most enemies. What? Still area. Okay. Area? <laughs> I'll take it. The odds of that are not very high. But something like this could be the best way of doing it. No, I don't think so. We are not fast enough for that. And area? Yeah, let's play a game. The moment I don't get area anymore, we just random always. Okay, there we go. I'm really curious to see how much damage the weapon will have and where on the ranking it will land. I would assume it's a very... I would assume it's a strong weapon with the high crit that we will get a ridiculous amount of damage in general, but it's also limited to around me except for the whip slashes that you do to the side. Now, while this is not bad, right, it's good. But at the same time, if this is not screen wide, then with some of the other weapons that we had, it simply can't compete. So I wonder if we will even reach 300 million. I think the target that I will set, that I think we will reach, is 300 million, yes. Though then again, if the ball keeps growing and becoming oh, and becoming bigger and bigger and bigger, then eventually we might actually strike the enemies at the border of the screen. Now that is very visual thinking, trust me. Come on, where's the red gem? I don't want to take the vacuum, I want to take it later. But I- oh, was it it? Four levels only? No way. I'll stand still for a little bit and let it accumulate. Um, are they still dropping experience? I don't think they are, right? Oh, there it is. How many level ups were there? One. One. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, none. Okay, I have to wait a little bit longer. What are you doing there? I mean, this weapon should have it very easy to kill them, right? I think the only thing that is missing on this weapon is crit chance. That would be good to have a guaranteed crit and always blast away the enemies no matter how strong they are. We have two vacuums. I mean these ones here, they are not a big deal. They are really easy to defeat. But once we get to the tougher enemies at 16 minutes, there's the first jump. I think it will take quite some time to kill them. But look at our ball. Look at the size of this. And whenever I walk around, it's faster just like our main animation. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I am so thankful for the change the weapon received with this ball. With just going into one side, it was... Uh, uh, yeah. With just one side, it used to be a rather unexciting weapon, lackluster weapon. But now it's on par with a lot of other weapons in regards to limit break, in regards to power, coverage, that you don't just die to simple enemies that manage to get around you. And I think that was a very great change. No, I just wanted to get rid of it. Yeah, I think it's about time that I just wait a little bit. Should we wait until 18 minutes? 
and then see what changes in size. That sounds good, I would say. Three, two, one. Okay, where's the red gem? Is it one of these? Yes. Huh? Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I needed that. Okay, how big are you? Wait. Uh, it actually reaches to the end of the screen. That means we will exceed the size of the screen just by leveling up more. Duh. But th this is amazing. That means we will eventually probably also hit them off screen. I mean, we're already doing this with the main attack that we have. But if this ball manages to always hit off screen, dude, we'll get so many kills in here. It's kind of insane how good this weapon has become in comparison what it used to be. Like, don't get me wrong, the solo part of it, it as I said, it was strong. But you just had so many issues on high curse values that it was very frustrating. And now, top tier weapon. I would definitely say top tier. Look at our kill counter right now. We are pretty much killing everything that walks in on us. Okay, I've been wiggling around. I also collected some of the experience. But there should be a decent amount of experience on the floor. Just gotta wait until 20 minutes and then we'll pick it up. And there we go. Okay, how many red gems do we have? There are two. Uh, that was a decent amount, but there should be more, hopefully. 162 is not a very high level. Oh, That was it. I would have expected so much more out of this. But do you see how most of the enemies are already dying? We just need a little bit more level up, so I think every single minute, I will just get the level ups and we see the size difference. I don't want to wait too long and then I just waste a ton of kills. So, we are about to move out again. At 21 minutes, we will also get an Arcana. But I gotta be honest, no clue what I want to take. I think that is the Arcana. But there we go. I don't think our best bet is beginning. And hear me out. We already learned that the area Arcana is really bad if you already cover this much area. As it causes more harm than it does good. The other option would have been the one that pulls everything on the stage in. But I don't want to have the attract or pulled in, the vacuum. And I accidentally pick all of them up. That would be horrible. And with them, I already have means to get the experience. So it doesn't do too much for me. And aside from this, there's not really anything that would have been good for me. Awake? Yeah, but how do I die? It's it's literally impossible. So yeah, I do believe that the arcana that I got at the beginning is the best choice. But at the same time, the max amount of projectiles on this weapon is 120. And I have a feeling we hit this a while ago. Oh, thank you. Meaning even that one has barely any impact. An alternative could have been Zaraband of Healing, but what is 16 damage in a small area? That is not a lot. Oh my god, the enemies get pushed out further and further and further. Right now they're pushing in more, since they are tanky. But hopefully a couple of power upgrades will deal with this. And we are about to hit a timer to collect experience again. Hopefully we get to 190, that would be great. They give a lot of experience, so I would expect that. Oh, did I get a vacuum? I think I did. Yep. Oh, wow. 195. I'm pretty sure we're ahead of the level curve. And do we kill them now without them really showing up? I would say yes. You only see a few of them, which means those that get critted behind them. They already died. And perfect. Whoa. Whoa. Not this again. Why is it more and more common that things that only happened with modding and breaking the game with that now happens in the vanilla game. That's just hilarious. But 24 minutes will be a great way for experience. They give a lot of experience overall and they are not mixed with anything else. So let me just walk over here. I want to collect the experience right away. And there we go. And down here is one more. Was there another one? I think I got all of them. Ooh, that was close. Level 199. Come on, we can make the 200. Just a little bit more. Oh, there are three red gems. Oh, I uh, wondered where all the level ups were. We even have a rosary. I think I'll use that one the moment we hit minute 29. And the enemies from the previous wave are gone. And then I just use a vacuum right after that. So I can pull in all the experience that we got. We're already covering the entire screen with this. This is insane. But I still see enemies appearing. I don't want that. And there we go. 25 minutes. Let's get all the experience on the floor again. Did the boss already die? No way, right? Oh, no, no, no. He got to... Well, well, quite far. <laughs> quite far. Just died next to us. 215. Ah, the dream for 300 is still alive. It looks a little bit rough, but I think we can do it. 
Now, if you say there's no way we hit that, then do not underestimate the experience we get on minute 28 and 29. But at the same time, is it enough for level 300? Ah, it could be a tough one. I really do hope we get maybe 15 levels here. That would be reasonable. That's not too much to ask for. Okay, down here. How many level ups do you have? Um, wait, how many were that? Oh, I think we got the 15, right? We had 217. There's a little bit more round. Oh, uh, my mistake. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. My screen is slowly falling apart. <laughs> Just covering it in the pink goo. Oh boy. But you know, it's fine. Sometimes you have to take a sacrifice to get to your goals. And this time, it's the game that has to take a sacrifice. I'm willing to give that one. And yet another 3, 2, 1, let's go! There's a red gem, that is probably nothing. Uh, down here are a couple. Over here are- well, no, though. Those are new. Okay, there we go. That was a lot. On this side might also be some experience, as usual. Um, yeah, that wasn't a lot. But don't worry, I'll go back to wiggling. 28 is where the juicy stuff starts, and let's be honest, we're already 253. I would be very surprised if we don't reach 300 here. Just looking if we have a second rosary somewhere, that would be great. Uh, I don't really see a lot. Guys, help. I don't want to pick up freezes, that is my only concern. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, I think there's a freeze though over there. <laughs> is it? Yeah it is, there's a freeze. What's down here freeze as well? It doesn't look like it. How about I take one of the vacuums, but don't take the freeze next to it. And um, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my- oh my- 200- 283! <laughs> we are doing well. Uh, I think the freeze here is to the right. That means I can pick up this one. Is this also a freeze? No, it's just chicken. Okay. So at 29 minutes, I will pick up the vacuum over here to get all the level ups. Then I will walk down to the rosary. Wait a second, I have to make sure that I have two vacuums left. I'm actually not sure if I have two vacuums. Okay, what I'll do instead is I'll wait until everyone from wave 28 is done. Until they are dead. Then I'll pick up the rosary for the bonus experience. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Then I'll pick up the vacuum and now I will walk over to the other vacuum. Oh my god. 300, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, eh, almost 40. It's coming. It's getting a little bit laggy, you know. I just wish I had one more vacuum. That would be perfect. Like to take right now. I can just pick up this stuff down here. I don't think there was a freeze in it. There's a vacuum! Ooh. Okay, I will head over. I'll get the other vacuum. And at the very end, I will take that vacuum there. Okay, let me make sure that I, put, I picked the freeze. No! Oh, that's not good. That will severely impact the amount of experience we get now. But hey, it, it was worth it, okay? And there we go. Let's pick up the freeze here. And all the rest of the level- Oh my god. <laughs> well, now you gotta kill me. Good luck with that. Wait, what? That was not too far off from him being unable to attack me. Okay, let's continue. No, he's inside of the circle. Yeah, I can't do anything against that. 520 million damage! I think that is the second highest or even the highest damage we ever had. I mean, you see the damage numbers on the right right now.